uh, I bomber defense specific. Going to be doing bonus stage two today. Um, and covering how to get perfect metal on it. All right. So starting off, I'm going to have this on fast forward most of the time. But um, we're going to build uh, a couple machine gun turrets as you see on the high ground, and a uh, comms tower um, right in the center of it, and then dig those in and reposition them. Um, and start shooting this crate right off the bat. Uh, it's actually about to speed up here in a second. And as the uh, enemy units start coming in, you'll want to quickly reposition the turrets and uh, to be able to cover the enemy units. And as long as the uh, green arc isn't covering the crate, you don't have to take the um, order to fire off. That way, um, you can always have one turret shooting at it, and then upgrade the top turret as soon as those uh, vehicles come in. As you can see, just a lot of um, moving back and forth. And this mission is going to be basically a lot of um, digging in and um, moving the fire arcs back and forth for short periods of time. And it helps to be really quick on the pause. As you can see, it's something it's doing constantly. And right here at wave seven, you just start building our first AA. And um, as you can see, in a little bit of a pinch, I can also move the turret to cover the rear arc or rear of the path if it um, wasn't quick enough getting them to fire at the incoming enemy units. Uh, we placed our first cannon and accidentally let one gag through, but the benefit of having all these things dug in is it's really easy to reposition them quickly. And take out any uh, anything that gets passed. All right. I wanted to slow it down there to make sure I was doing okay. And as soon as those dudes are killed, I can shoot the crate a little bit more. And actually rewind there because I needed more. So I placed that second cannon. Basically, you need one covering each path now. And then uh, with that next crate destroyed, I place a couple flamers down. Um, right as the path starts to emerge into just that one square, that way it kind of makes the enemies move a little bit extra, having a circle around the flame turret. And I'm trying to shoot up that one other crate that I have a range of. And um, the idea here is we want to try to save money early on, um, and thus be able to get full interest as quickly as possible. And once that happens, we can just start putting down massive amounts of turrets. Right, uh, and we started to place more comms turrets uh, towards the rear of the base, and we're actually going to make um, a bit of a funnel in the back there. And we'll start to develop that in a second. But uh, having that also, a comms star in the middle of the high ground, upgraded fully now, is important. Now we've actually got bombs, so I'm going to start using them to break that last crate. And bombs aren't really going to be that useful, so I'm not going to get more than just the one turret. And this level on 18 now, need to upgrade that AA. Right, and you can see the path kind of shifted a little bit there when I destroyed that crate, oddly. They seem to do that from time to time. I'm going to shift a little bit before they get to... Uh, actual turrets. Or sometimes. Anyways, so we got the uh, cannons upgraded to level 2 now. Comms to the rear are at level 2 and we're pretty close to getting max uh, interest. Things are getting a little more difficult. I need to do a bit more um, repositioning. But so far I'm able to kill stuff before it actually gets to the base.
All right, so our secondary objective, which as you can see I'm starting to take care of now, is um, to bomb out the um, little base to the bottom left. And actually I might get a little extra bombs for that, because um, I forgot about that for a second when I mentioned uh, not having more than just a little one bomb turret earlier. But anyway, so I spent my money, upgraded those flamers, and got their comms towers at level three now in the rear. I had to reposition a machine gun turret that wasn't positioned right. That's another thing you gotta always remember. Uh, make sure that you've um, moved everything after you finished. All right, as you can see, kind of having a little bit crafty here. Unfortunately, the cannons have very limited arcs, so they require a lot of repositioning. But as long as you're quick about it. Um, sometimes you can even uh, reposition the arc while the game is still going. Um, that way, giving your turrets a better chance to aim. Um, moving the fire arc with the unit. And um, you can do that. Um, although, if you mess up, it can be a little bit hard to recover if you don't have it paused. So. Right. I'm about to start putting more stuff down because things are getting a little bit unmanageable. Upgrade those cannons to level three. It's going to do a lot more. Upgrade the AA to level three now. Now the cannons have their splash damage, so not to mention doing a lot more per hit. We're already having to um, ease up on the whole repositioning crap. Yeah, a lot of extra resources right now. I'm going to do some of it this time. Alright, now time for rocket turrets. You can see you place one at the top and bottom. Take them in. And you could probably upgrade them to level 4. I just did level 3 because I want to make sure uh, I wasn't losing that 50 interest. I just need a little bit of repositioning. See, that's uh, what I was talking about before. You can move it while the game's in motion. Alright, so we've got the rocket turrets to level 4. Things are going nicely. Getting another rocket launcher and another. So you have basically two covering each of the uh, paths there. We've pushed them back pretty far, although we're still going to need a lot more uh, by the end of this because we're about to see the three barreled tanks. And just remember to uh, keep repairing those flamers. The machine gun turrets are um, dug in, so they're not going to take much damage. And plus, I think they take less damage being on high ground as well. Now, our uh, level 3 AA was enough for this um, uh, wave. And uh, as you can see now, I'm starting to place down that um, rear funnel. Um, starts off with a level 3 flamer. Uh, the top and the bottom there, right, as the enemy is going to start to come in and then dug in machine gun turrets. And uh, you need to do a little repositioning because those three barrel tanks are pretty strong there. Let's get everybody repositioned. I don't want to be, uh, or risk it there. Right, get everything back. And that's what a lot of this mission, um, a lot of the time in this mission is taken up by is this repositioning. Right. And place another AA tower up at the top. Upgrade it to level 3. Alright, now we're starting to place rocket turrets in the back and angling them so they fire straight down the uh, path of approach and they're going to get great coverage that way. And place another one down below and had it angled up. You need to still reposition a few things. Alright, point it back. Alright, 
at adding a second set of rocket launchers. And that should be, yeah, that's pretty much stopping them, or just about a lot less repositioning going on. I just thought I'd do a little bit at the end, but I'm not done with that yet anyways. Still more to add on to it, so. And um, very important to keep checking on those flame turrets and anything else that's being shot at often, because um, it's starting to do a lot of damage each wave. Alright. Now it's just stacking rocket launchers basically. I'm going to add a couple extra machine gun turrets I believe in a second. Reposition the one on the bottom just to make sure. Because the top only has two. been kind of dropping bombs the entire time on um, that secondary objective and by now we're just about finished but um, you could always rush some money into it to end I mean I only have a one level two uh, bomb to it so uh, one other thing um, when you're repairing turrets sometimes you might want to pause the game even if you're not repositioning because uh, as you kind of see there and it might happen a few more times is um, you can accidentally click on the approaching tanks and your uh, turrets will focus on the one that you selected because they think you gave them a focus fire order which can be bad because um, it can make your uh, maze not work properly so try to make sure that's taken off yeah see it happened again there there's too many things to <laughs> click around So we have those second machine gun turrets, and you kind of see the funnel, the way it's shaped. Basically just a box of turrets on the north and south, and um, just a line down the middle towards the base, which the enemy isn't even going to reach at this point. And you can see that happen again, and they kind of made it a little bit further than they should have because of it. So that was a bit of a problem. We put a flamer turret up at the, um, the middle position that was still, or the high position that was still available. All right, so we're at the final wave. Um, we've got three fully upgraded AA turrets, all of them boosted by comms, and this rack of uh, missile turrets should be plenty. This again, it's all about repairing at this point. We've got a ton of extra credits, so. Can even put more stuff down than I did. And there we go. That's a perfect mission.